the fact that the lot and the and found and the lad to cook Hitler's boot. The shop for a fine stadium. You coming down? Be there in a second. How long is your leave for? That's the thing, I'm not really supposed to be here. Can't you get in trouble for that? I'm stationed out in Cookmere, middle of bloody nowhere. No one will find out. It's nice there though. When the war's over, I'll take you. That'd be nice. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? Coming for a swim? <laughs> oh, it's freezing! <laughs> you're coming in then, Top? Fat chance. <gasps> you silly bugger! Oi! Exercise. Ah, uh, I will come down here like a ton of bricks. Storming a bloody teacup, innit? I could do with a cup of tea about now. <laughs> Join the club. Do you get your transfer thingy through? Yeah, yeah. The uh, the wife weren't too pleased. Can't imagine she would be. I'm telling you, them rich toffs in Downing Street came to their senses. They put me in old church, you'll see. I'd have this entire war sorted out in a jiffy. The way I see it is about land, empire. This is yours and this is ours. I mean. Take Poland. Why they wanted to start a war over it, I'll never know. You've been there? No. Nah, no, neither. Let them have the shit hole. As long as we can hold on to India. I mean, starting a war over Africa, I can understand. It's because the oil, isn't it? Yeah, well, we'll, uh, we'll be off there soon. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing I'll miss. It's that barmaid, that barman's daughter down at the Bell and Arms. Of course, some yank will have her before I get back. You never know. We'll be over by Christmas. Yeah. And I'm fucking Santa Claus. That's what they say every single time. 
You know, you're too bloody optimistic, that's your problem. No, I'm a realist, you're a pessimist, that's the difference. Sling you up now, standing. Brought you a cup of tea, Charlie. She's at her wit's end in there, Charlie. There was nothing I could do. I know, Lou. I've been there myself before. What's it like? Over there. Just take care of yourself, keep your head down, and you'll be all right. I'm doing it for you. No, no, you're not. We'll get through this, I promise. Me, you and Terry. I'm going to come back, I know it. You have a family. It'll be over by Christmas. I'll come home then. They said that last time. They always say that. Your son's going to grow up without a father, like you did. Let someone else go. Well, that'll just mean another boy will grow up without a father. Another wife will be a widow. That man won't be as lucky as me. I'm going to come back, I promise you. I need you here. I can't do this by myself. I'll do it. Thompson reporting, sir. Thompson, yes. Yes, sir. I've got a new assignment for you. German tanks are expected uh, now, and um, infantry there. You're to assemble a four-man squad, going quick and quiet and damn it, man. The whole bloody thing rests on your shoulders. In other words, don't cock it up. Body Sagan. We're going out on raid. When? Pull out tomorrow morning. Say, 0600 hours. I need two more men. Oh, um, Grimes? He'll do. Then how about Clark? This morning. Christ, standing there. I'll assemble them outside command. You try to get us some transport.
bloody heat. You should be glad it isn't raining standing, you big girl's blouse. The captain's right. You should look on the bright side. That's the problem. Everything's so bloody bright out here. <laughs> You're just a village idiot, Milton. You better watch it, Grind, you cocky bastard. I'm a higher rank than you. I just like to keep positive. And how the hell do you do that? Uh, it's not so hard. Optimism runs in my family. Just take me granddad. Oh, you've gone and done it now, Chaz. Christ, we're all going to have to hear about that bloody granddad story again. I'll have slipped my wrist before Jerry even has a chance to take a pop at us. Why the hell have you got that? Bought off an hour for a bar of Cadbury's. Besides, I've got it all planned out for when we get to Germany. See, I'll take this knife, snip off Hitler's one and only, and then serve it up to old Ava on a silver platter. Oh, thanks for that image. No problem, Cap. I've established the Huns' general course. The only thing is, it goes through a minefield. What if they've re-mined it? Not so bloody positive now, are you? Unless Jerry sent in the bombers, blasted a way through for his armour. Well, if we get through, what happens if we run into the crowd? Well, that is rather the point of our mission. We just have to hope that somebody up there is rather fond of us. If we do run into them, we'll talk our way out of it. Oh, you speak kraut now then, do you? It's a work in progress. Anyway, we should be done here soon. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, feeling's mutual. But if we sit to the tracks, it will be fine, right? It's over, mate. Don't shoot. We surrender.
here since Tobruk. Old Cooper came here weighing 160 pounds. Now he's 94. He broke all at dawn, meals twice a day. It's four men to a bed, but they can hold six. Try and make your Red Cross packs last a while, because the food here ain't the Ritz, but other than that, you're living the life of Riley. Such a girl since embarkation. Neither. To be honest, I'm trying to stop the desire. How about you? You got a girl back home? There's a few words I want to have with you before, uh, before this night's out. Now, uh, first of all, there is to be no fraternisation with the eye ties. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. A few other things. I've got sentries on the main gate mounted. We send a party out to recce the, uh, the local area in case the Hun does turn up. But I don't think that will happen. Intelligence is this. Our boys are landing in Rome and Milan, and the Navy, they should be coming in at Genoa and Rimini. So this is it. By my reckoning, we have just 24 hours to hold out, and then it's our time. Good luck, boys. Here, you need to have a drink, mate. Take some of mine. Strong mind. Some fella over there has been drinking it out in an enamelled mug, and the enamel's coming off. Don't you get it? We have to leave now. Calm down, mate. Now ain't the time for quick action. But it is. The Allies aren't going to come. The Krauts are coming here, and they'll ship you off to Germany. But I'm telling you, let them come. What I tell you, we go out there, a couple of Brits like us, don't speak the lingo, they will fucking shoot us! Look, have I ever given you reason not to trust me? No. So listen to me now. If we get out of here and make it back to the Allied lines, they'll send us home. Our part in this war will be over. Allied lines? You're bloody delusional. We're better off here waiting with food and drink and wait for them to come to us. Better the devil you know. I understand what you're saying, mate. But it ain't worth the risk. I'm sorry. But I ain't going.
amici, amici. Alemania, Alemania, americano. Wait, Lori, I'm English. I'm English. Ma, I'm English. Fumare. Wait. Cigarette? Amici, inglesi. We like, we, we like English. Hey, wait, wait. Follow, C come on. C follow, follow. Come on, follow. Buono. Mm. Chi è? È un soldato inglese. Non può stare qui, se vengono i tedeschi. E nella stalla. Non lo trova l'anima. My wife, she has a pay order, but I think she understands. My dearest Charlie, I've been counting the days, but now I'm counting the months since your last letter. Where are you, my love? I have nothing left to hold except the hope that one day you'll return to me. Charlie, come back to me. Come back. Senor Lido, he works you hard? I like hard work. I worked on the, um, the trains back over in England. What is it like in England? You live in London? Near London. Uh, Raphael. When did the snows come? Um, qui a novembre, that's a poco. Molta neve a dicembre. Perché chiedi di la neve? I'm afraid for your child. When the snow come. Quando la neve arriva, forse prima, verranno a prenderti e ti porteranno via. That the day she ever come, it is not a safe here. I take you into the mountains, there is a cave. If the Germans are come, go into the forest. Or oh, Giovanni, you will find you there. to stop helping me, you know. Charlie, is it? It's never easy. Charlie, on the radio, he says uh, if we help you, the Allies, or we die. Uh. I've never heard that. Is it true? And you knew. 
Your wife, Snulido, do they know? How did you get away? The Germans, uh, they came to the mill. They took Senor Lee. How did they know I was there? Some of them tell, the fascist. What's the situation down there? Many more have come. They fill the town. Terrible border. Putting you all in danger. Should never have stayed here.
got light? Put in spark. Okay. What happened to your arm? Training exercise went wrong. So, what's a nice girl like you doing around here? My son. He's sick. Well, I hope he gets better soon. Uh, I'm Michael, by the way. Michael Romero. Where are you from, Michael? I'm, uh, I'm from Vancouver. Is that in America? <laughs> no, it, it's Canada. I really should be going. But I don't even know your name. I'm oh, sorry. Hey, I know you. You're the lady from the hospital. You have a good memory. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, how's your kid? I'm on my way to get from school, so if you don't mind. My arm's much better, by the way. Well, it won't be for much longer. You keep running out of buildings, not looking where you're going. But you bumped into me. Well, without me to catch you, you would have run straight into the road. Well, it would have been a whole lot worse if I went into a car. I'm not sure worse is the right word. Hey, that's not fair. Isn't there some other girl you can bother? I'd rather bother you. Well, you're doing a good job. What is it with you people? I'm just trying to be friendly. We're a lot smarter than you lot from across the pond. You're not trying to be my friend. It's true what they say about you. Overpaid and sex and they look at Hey, I'm not overpaid. Well, I'm sure there are plenty of other girls who want to be your friend. Damn you English girls are a hard crowd. Damn you Canadians, you're a persistent lot. Well, I'd like a chance to prove myself to you. Here. Let's call it 7 o'clock Saturday night. So what do I call you? You can call me Tab. What does that mean? 
it's like a nickname. When I was a girl, I used to ask for a tuppence to get sweets. It kind of stuck. He just had this charm about him. It was quite remarkable, really. Well, then, I can't go. Why not? Well, if you aren't going to go, then I will. No, why not? I just said that. I wish I had a Canadian Air Force captain. All I've got is a bloody telecommunications officer. <laughs> Tell you what, you go with him, I'll take Terry, and he can stay the night at mine. All right. Really? <laughs> just when I thought my luck was in. Dad won't be too pleased, though. Ivy, how could you have done this? Have you forgotten your husband's in Italy? What do you think he's doing? Running around with Italian fruities? He's over there fighting for you and your son. What do you think? It's been easy for me these last few years to be left alone at home while others fight for me. It's been hell. I don't know how you could be so selfish. How could you? She has a husband. And what if he don't come back? There's been no news for weeks now, and his father never came back in the last war. No, but I did. I know what men go through over there. What I've seen and done, just remember that. My dearest wife, this letter will probably never get to you, but it brings me comfort to write it. I'm alive and well and living in the safety of a convent. What is this world in which we find ourselves? How can men unleash such evil upon one another? War doesn't make heroes out of us. It turns us into animals. Sometimes I feel this war has changed me so much that I won't be the same man when I return to you. But that hope, the hope that someday I'll return is the only thing that keeps me going. All my love, your Charlie.
along every road in endless procession, refugees stream toward collecting stations set up by the Allied military government. Many helpless families, made homeless by the German seizure of their country, were forced north during the Nazi retreat. Stripped of most of their possessions, only a few were adequately clothed or fed until the Allied Fifth Army landed. Moving these helpless people from the ruins of their shattered homes is one of the great rescue achievements of the war. The real tragedy is the plight of the very young. The world into which they were born has been a world of suffering and sorrow. Now the Allied authorities open the way to a new haven, a haven where they may wait in safety for the day of peace. As swiftly as possible, army trucks take them to ports of embarkation. Hey, buddy, uh, you, see a, um, you see a girl with a black and white dress that just came out of here? No, sorry, mate, she took off. Say. Sono un soldato. American? English. You're lucky I'm with the resistance. Thank you. Fascists kill my family. La pagheranno. I'm trying to get back to mine. Buona fortuna. Fascisti. 1800 lire is the price for you. That's a lot of money. Do you know the song? What song? Se potessi avere mille lire al mese, mille lire al mese. I will not give you to a fascist. How much is that? Oh, really? Si, sì, the mountain is full of young men. The fascists are too scared of your English and Americano to, to catch you. I bet they'll be the first to wave their flags when our boys march through in the end. Okay, but first we have to kill the Germans. I'm going south to find a bandit. These are good. Yeah, well, Italian pictures are the best, like women. You know, il culo. <laughs> it's 
too dangerous for a fire.
Hey, Grimes! Grimes! Hey, so, uh, when did you get back? Uh, Transport got in two weeks ago. Well, it's good to see you. What, um, what happened after I left? Jerry came a couple of days later, like you said they would. Put us in trains and sent us to Stalix in Germany. The cold. Italy was fucking butlered. How the lads? Dicky. He didn't make it. The child trying to escape. He brought the body back. Four days and nights on her train packed like cattle. It wasn't until February until the Allies came and they sent us home. Well, it'll be over soon. Once you beat the Japs. I've just been demobbed. So what are you going to do now? Well, the worst is over. Things are going to get better here on out. That's what I think anyway. So I'm heading down to Bristol. Nice. So, um, you got family down there? No, I, uh... I just need to get away for a bit. I can't take being called a hero. What I've seen... done... How can I be proud of that? I was so fucked up. Sometimes... Sometimes I wish I was the one who got stuck in that dream. I really do. Are you alright, mate? Yeah, yeah. Couldn't have been better. I'd, uh, best be off. Well, if you're, um, going down Sussex way, feel, feel free to drop by. Sounds good. Yeah, it's good to see you.
My dearest wife, it won't be long now, and I shall be able to see you both every night. All I hope, my darling, is you won't get too used to seeing me, and then we start living like other married couples, just taking things for granted. But when we get our own home, we should be happy. And if you want your little girl by then, well, all you have to do is ask me. I suppose you still do want her. Well, this is about all I can write for tonight. So if I get a letter from you tomorrow, I'll write again too. All my love, darling. Charlie. P.S. Kiss Terry for me and tell him I got his letter and I hope he comes to meet me again on Saturday. Thank you. 